This is Quarter Country Farm, and we are located in Paulsbo, Washington. A dreamy, quiet retreat where guests can sleep in a farmhouse or camp or choose a third option. I think everyone's favorite is our glass house. A beautifully appointed and still fully functional greenhouse. And we still do use it to start all of our tomatoes and peppers in the winter. Is this the most luxurious greenhouse on planet Earth? <laughs> it may be. <laughs> well, there's a creek right down along the side of the greenhouse, so there's a lot of, at night you get to go to sleep, listen to thousands of frogs. The room sleeps too, and while it is temperature controlled by nature, the quarters do what they can to make it comfortable. In the colder season, we have a heated mattress pad on there. Clear nights, you get to watch the stars while laying in bed. We've had people stay in there while it's snowing. They said, I feel like I'm in the yeah. middle of a snow globe. It was so cool. For those concerned about modesty, there's a strategically placed barn blocking views from the main house. We don't have restrooms, but we do have the prettiest porta potty in town. A nearby fire pit and lawn games is more than enough for a memorable stay, but there's more. You're coming into our petting zoo. Here, visitors can hold baby bunnies and these curious hatchlings. Lots of people have never seen or held a baby turkey. How long do your guests typically stay in the petting zoo? Minutes to hours. <laughs> Here we go. Around the corner, you can help with the so-called alpaca car wash. They just love the water, and it doesn't matter if it's rain or shine. Does that feel good? Or learn how to milk Mary. We milk her every day. We make cheese, we make milk or we make ice cream. We have a, a saloon, we call it, so there's a little game room, so there's a pool table. They have Wi-Fi, a little kitchenette we've set up so they can bring their food and cook. Including eggs collected from the chicken coop. <laughs> Kevin and Denise want to introduce guests to a new way of life because they are also first-time farmers. Kevin did 21 and a half years in the Navy as a submariner, was deployed constantly. We were living in Waikiki in a 600 square foot studio apartment when we decided we were coming back home to Washington. We decided to totally shift gears and this was all new to us, but we knew we wanted to be together. We knew we wanted to work together. Work and love created a welcome that's worth experiencing and clearly one of a kind.